Hey you guys, it's Rain here and today is June 29, 2023 and today is my 182nd day living in Adelaide, Australia. And as you can see, my hair is different. After finishing a course in psychology part of my degree, I wanted to apply what I learned with the behavioral change taxonomy. So if you have been watching some of my previous videos, then you would have known that last year I struggled with my health and a lot of very significant life changes. And this caused me to have some very severe infections that were life-threatening. It caused me to be emotionally traumatized and socially awkward. Um, a diagnosed sleeping disorder, amongst other problems. And so since last year, I've been saving some money so that I can like eventually do this. And it's taken me eight months to save enough to be able to change my hair. I had to book an appointment two months ahead because hairstyling in Australia is a bit different compared to Southeast Asia. Not only is it more expensive, but the wait period or the waiting list is significantly longer. You cannot just book on the same week. You have to book months ahead. So those are some tips if you are new to Australia. But on a side note, back to the BCTs or behavioral change taxonomy, with my eczema, all of the medication has been working really well, but sometimes I still find myself scratching. So this behavior or this habit, in order to break that habit, I thought maybe if I did something different, it would help me divert that energy and attention away from the scratching and towards something productive or healthier for me. And it was only fitting that, like, it made me want to change my hair more because then instead of scratching, I can just play with my hair, you know, in those stressful moments. For some people, it might be to squeeze like a stress ball or to play with those fidgy widget things. Um, unfortunately, sometimes when I'm working, I cannot just pick up a guitar or start like squatting everywhere or like go rock climbing. So I had to figure out like, what can I do in that instant moment that the behavior also looks quite natural and I thought like oh playing with hair is like quite a natural thing that people do in public it's not something that is also difficult to access if I am in public and so these are just some of the many reasons that made me inclined to changing my appearance and since changing my hair it's actually helped boost my confidence a lot so last year I, I used to have like really long brown luscious hair but when I went through the topical steroid withdrawal, it caused some alopecia and I actually lost a lot of hair, not just on my head, but even on my eyebrows and across my face and my body. And so I got really frustrated with the alopecia and also eczema on my scalp that I ended up tying my hair in a ponytail and just like cutting it all off myself. And that caused my hair to be very uneven, but also because I had to let go of everything on the physical side of my appearances, I just neglected that. And slowly I've been recovering, making you know new friends, living in a completely new environment and just trying to be myself again and all the things that I love that make me who I am. So I thought that doing this change in, in my hair would be a, a big step forward in my recovery. And for the one week that I have had this hair for, I, I feel really good about it. And I just really want to give a shout out to Hung Chan of Blow. Uh, it's a hair thing because that salon, they, they took such good care of me. And I've never dyed my hair before. In his words, I have virgin hair. So my hairstylist Hung Chan had a lot of fun bleaching it toning it and now I have got a longer hair care routine at night which also diverts my energy away from just having to do my regular skincare routine which is actually quite lengthy so you know it's it's all a matter of what do you want to focus your attention on what do you want to prioritize and what are you willing to do in order to get better in the process I've also regained my confidence in my own singing voice and uh, that's advice thanks to someone I know who is in psychology like she she told me that you know music was something that has always been a part of me so if I tap into that again then it'll help rekindle my soul and whenever I sing it helps me feel happy again so 
you want to hear some of my singing, then you can look for The Rain Sings on YouTube to find some songs I'm doing covers of. And it's just something for fun to uplift my spirits. And if somehow along the way it helps uplift your spirits, then that's a wonderful thing and you should check it out. If you have any questions regarding these behavioral change techniques or things you want to do in order to help improve yourself, then feel free to just drop a comment and hit subscribe if you want to learn more about my eczema journey, my life of being a student in Australia, and my other wacky adventures. It's Ray signing out. <laughs>